And yes, some of them explode. And there was a gentleman, I believe it was last month, that his e-cigarette exploded and it lodged a piece of metal in his head. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, it I believe so, and he passed away from it. But those are real concerns. Anytime you're putting a battery or anything in your, that close to your face, right? Wait, does it have to go on your computer? To charge, yes it does. That's how those charge, in a USB port. It's not going to explode. I hope not, right? Next slide. Do you guys know what third-hand smoke is or second-hand smoke? Yeah. You're answering all these. I love it. Go for it. I've had that happen to me. Isn't it breathing on? You breathe in the smoke that someone else Exactly. Oh, yeah. Someone else is breathing out. Yes. So if you have, like, family members and you're by them and they start smoking a cigarette and you inhale the smoke. You're breathing it, too. Yeah. So I tell people, if you can smell it, you're breathing it. And it's true. Yes. What's different between the fire with the smoke that comes from your fire? From the fireplace? Yeah. That's going to be a little bit different because you're not sitting right there in but front I of the know. fire <laughs> breathing in like that. As bad? It's not good to breathe any burning thing into your lungs. It's not br good to breathe any chemical other anything other than medications that are meant to be breathed in and oxygen into your lungs, quite honestly. So, actually, when I was at a concert, there were a lot of people smoking with marijuana in front of me, and I didn't realize I was breathing in, but it was so much to the point where I had to leave because I was feeling sick. Yeah, because you were breathing in, you could smell it. If you're smelling it, you're breathing it. Mm -hmm. And that's how I teach people. The yes? It's like the plazas, you know, you're walking around, like you're walking around, like, um, Can you speak up, sweetie? Oh, like the plazas downtown? Yeah. You're walking under them, and then people are just, like, smoking, and you're inhaling it, because you're under, like, the little covers, and in the room. Mm-hmm. I trained my kids from an early age to say something, and it has backfired a few times, especially in front of Walmart when they tell people that. Do you remember when you were little and you told that lady that her cigarette smoked? I think I told her that was disgusting. It was disgusting <laughs> and it stunk. My mama says, that's bad for me. <laughs> you were. And the lady looked at me and I went, oh, oh, and she goes, your mother is right. And I took her and we walked away real quick. <laughs> Third hand smoke. So second hand smoke is anything that you're breathing off the cigarette. Okay? If you're smelling it, you're breathing it, and it does have health effects, right? Third hand is anything that's coming off the cigarette or the e-cigarette that's collecting the surfaces. So it could be your countertops, it could be rugs, it could be chairs. It's collecting. And then little kids come along, you touch it, it's all over them, they put their hands in their mouth and they've ingested it. Pets collects to their hair, and then what do pets do to clean themselves? lick themselves and then they're ingesting it. So while right now we don't know all the long-term health consequences of e-cigarettes and the juices and ingesting them, over the next 10 years we definitely will. Okay? So when people are like, does it cause cancer? We cannot say 100% right now, but we are going to see down the road the health effects because these have not been around that long at all. Do you guys have any questions about third-hand smoke? So this is from the Poison Control Center. So e-cigarettes really came around, you know, 2011, we'll see. And these are the calls from people that are saying that children or animals or kids have been exposed to the e, the nicotine and the e-liquid. So in 2011, when they first came out, there was 271 calls for poison control, all right? Look at 2014, 4,024. Next year, 3,774. As we're getting more information now, though, you can see it start going down. It's starting to go down. But look, from 2011 to 2017, the difference. So that's showing you that kids are getting into it and they are being poisoned. And poisoning is you get very, very sick. You could end up in the hospital. More often than not, it's throwing up an awful lot. What questions do you have about that? So you think about something that smells really good, like this, and you think about a puppy. I have a puppy that will eat everything. He's definitely going to chow on one of these, right? And it's poison and can make him very, very sick. So that's why it's important that all these products be away. And we're realizing that people are just tossing these like cigarette butts too. So if an animal comes along this and eats this or a kid's playing, they're going to be exposed to these as well. 
So to know that piece, okay? Next slide. So I know a few of you have asthma in here. The, ab the aerosol, stuff coming off from the e-cigarettes, is an irritant. It will cause your airways to become irritated and inflamed. And when they become irritated and inflamed, they tighten up, which makes you have a harder time breathing. <coughs> you have an increase in asthma symptoms if you're using an e-cigarette or if you're breathing in the secondhand smoke. It causes an increase in symptoms such as cough and wheeze. The secondhand vapor was also tied into an increase in asthma attacks and it can worsen allergy symptoms. So someone has asthma or you know COPD lung disease, keep them away from cigarettes but the important thing or keep them away from e-cigarettes but the important thing is to communicate this. It's not healthy for them to be breathing. Now you know that, right? Any questions? Oh my, next slide. All right, so sharing. Would you ever take a piece of gum out of your mouth and give it to your friend to chew? No. no. So the germs that can spread by giving the, that people give from taking a puff off another person's jewel or e-cigarette is the same germs you would spread if you were kissing someone. Or you took a piece of gum out of your mouth and put it in someone else's mouth. Pretty gross, huh? And we know germs travel fast, right? We're, we just got over the stomach thing last week, so we know it goes fast. So things that can spread by using the e-cigarettes and passing them to each other. Strep throat, that's no fun. Common flu, common cold, the flu. Herpes, which are cold sores on your mouth that you have your whole life. Um, mono, meningitis, which is a very serious illness and the norovirus and I think that's what my family we had last week it's no fun so imagine all the germs that you would spread to someone else by kissing them or taking a piece of gum out of their mouth and chewing on it are the same germs that we can spread if you take a puff off someone else's e-cigarette kind of gross huh very gross next slide lovely picture huh no. so now our older people that smoke cigarettes you know, that's kind of phasing out. Who's going to replace them? Well, hopefully not you. <laughs> but who are they trying to get to? Your age group, definitely. I know, that looks cute. Well, cigarette smoking causes people to get wrinkly. They're really 12 years old. No! <laughs> Next slide. So what can you guys do? Don't start. You know the facts. Someone offers it to you, no, I'm not interested. This is the spread the seed approach. Educate your friends, your peers, people your age, people you play sports with, your family. Encourage people that are using them to quit. You know, nicotine has really got a hold on your brain, you know. It's the best time while you're young and before you get too hooked to stop using it. There's people out there that can help you. And get involved. You know, get the word out there. What else can you guys do? I need someone to help me draw some posters that we're going to put up at Spartan. If anyone wants to help me with that one. Huh? Arca's already on the list. Sorry, hon. <laughs> anyone that's interested in that. Um, you want to? We'll put that together. How's that? That sound good? We can do that and we can get those posters out. What, hon? I think we can give you a paper and you guys can work on them and bring them back to me and I think we can make some copies, right Sherry? We can get the word out there because guess who your friends are going to listen to? They're going to listen to you guys, okay? You have very, very strong voices, all right? I know that. I see you guys in action all the time, all right? Next slide. And then, if you run across anyone, and this is tobacco cessation, people that want to quit smoking, people that want to stop using the e-cigarette, and kids that are using it that have a hard time, you can call 1-800-QUIT-NOW. They can help. This is my number here at the hospital. If you guys are doing projects, or you need information, or you just know someone that needs some more help, reach out to me. I've got a lot of information I'm more than happy to share any way possible. Science projects. I'm your lady, I can help you with that, all right? Next slide. And parents, what do we do? Don't use around kids. 
We have to educate them that using the e-cigarette in the car is as bad as smoking a cigarette, right? Don't use them at all. Keep liquid and nicotine devices out of the sight and reach of children. Don't use them in the house or car when other people are around. Because if I'm smelling it, I'm breathing it, right? Yeah, next slide. In schools. Out here, let's educate students on the long-term long consequences of using the e-cigarette. That's what we're doing today. We're trying to get out to other schools, too. We want to know that the teachers, they know what they're looking for when they're out there and that they're not plugging in any of these devices to charge for anyone, right? So feel free to check out my devices all you want. And include e-cigarettes and tobacco-free policies because if you're caught using the e-cigarette, it's treated just like if you're caught smoking cigarettes, guys. And you will be in trouble, not be allowed to play sports. What are the full consequences? I don't know your policy here with tobacco. Out of school suspended. Out of school suspended. And it happens. It definitely happens. We are getting tons of these devices that people are taking from the middle school students and the high school students around here. That's how I've got all my devices. Yes. And next slide. Oh, that's me. <laughs> so if you guys ever need anything, you've got any questions, I'm here to ask those or answer those questions for you. You see me on the street? Hey, Mrs. Cosgrove or some Sandra, <laughs> you know, throw it out there. I want to hear your questions because if you're curious about something, we want to make sure you have the right facts because you guys are out there talking to each other. All right.